Hello, my friend, and welcome to today's full body session here on the Persist program. Holy mackerel, have we got a good time plan. Building strength, muscle mobility, flexibility from head to toe. You know the deal. But indeed, if you don't and you're new around here, my name is Jasper, and I'm going to be taking you through a phenomenal session today. We've got all sorts planned, and I'm going to be talking to you throughout on the old mic here. So I'm just going to keep the details light from the offset here. Main things you need to know is we're just going to be using dumbbells and our own body weight, and I'm going to be giving you opportunities uh, and ways of modifying this to meet you exactly where you are at. You're largely gonna see me switch between uh, a sort of light to moderate and a very light pair of dumbbells today, more than likely. You will have the opportunity to push yourself and go as heavy as makes sense for you. Complete transparency, I'm feeling a little bit pooped. I'm probably not gonna push the loads of my movements today, but I'm definitely gonna challenge myself where I see appropriate and where I feel I can, but otherwise just gonna feel great for having moved my body when perhaps I might have otherwise not. So. We're gonna dive into our warm up and I'm gonna explain everything else as we go. Thanks for being here and let's have a good time together. Alrighty, Buddy Bean, we're gonna be kicking off our warm up with a one and a quarter squat. I'm gonna be putting my hands in this prisoner or cobra stance to simulate the upright position that we're gonna want with those front squats today. That one and a quarter, all right, Let's refers to going all the way down, coming up a quarter and back down, all right? Spending a bit more time in that deep stretch position is gonna be really potent for the stimulus we're trying to get, that deep stretch in the muscles, primarily in the quads from the legs there. Okay, we are going to be doing a one and a quarter front squat today with our dumbbells. So let's really get used to how that's going to feel. Come up just a little bit out of your best range. Now all of our ranges are probably going to look, look a, a little bit different. Simply do your best with how your body is today. You'll probably find as you get into it, you'll get a little bit more range of motion. Things will start to feel a little bit more spry in the bottom here. Lovely. We're going to come on down to a yoga push-up. So that's going to be a push-up and then reaching through to the opposing leg. Now, don't worry if you can't do the push-up. That's still a big ask in terms of our strength. You can maybe do it on the knees and then come to your toes or just do the alternating reach. So I'm down here. Big push-up, reaching through, trying to touch the opposing leg and back down. Okay, we're gonna sit down onto our butts for this tabletop with reach. Now, if you've never done these reverse tabletops or bridges, you can do standard both hands on the ground. I'm gonna drive my hips up into this big shoulder extended position, but this time I'm also gonna reach over the other side. Like I said, if that's too much, leave out the reach and just do both arms down. Lovely. We're going to come to our toes here to perform a Jefferson curl. Now this is like a standing spinal segmentation, trying to move the spine one chunk at a time, one vertebrae. If you've never done these before, because we are going to be doing them in our workout, you might just want to stick to body weight only today. Legs squeeze tight, no knee bend, chin to chest, shoulders round forward, rolling down through the spine. Don't let the knees bend. Reach into your best bottom position and roll back to the top. Always executing really slowly under control. Oh, yeah. When done properly and progressively, this gets the body feeling really good. 
but don't rush. Don't use anything you aren't used to using. 10 seconds. Increment slowly here. Rest. Last one for our warm up. So you're gonna get the shoulders and the scapula, shoulder blade. Feeling nice. Getting more movement through there. And awareness. I'm gonna be in this hinge position, which is good for us to know. Knees soft, drive the bum back until the chest faces the floor, lock it in, fists and thumbs, and you're just gonna rise those up overhead into that sort of Y position. Under control here, no flailing. That can be challenging for most of us. That overhead position there. So do these nice and steady. A little pause at the top to lock in that position. No swinging. Halfway there. seconds. Okay, kicking off in 30 seconds. First move for 60 seconds. These are long working windows, okay? So probably be conservative with your loading to start with. And we also get these for three sets. So it's gonna be our main body of work. I'm gonna choose something reasonably light, as I said, four those one and a quarter front squats. So you did those with your body weight at the start. If you want to today, you could just go one dumbbell for goblet, that might be more comfortable. Having two dumbbells gives you the chance to load it a little bit more and it's a bit of a tougher position. That's what I'm gonna be playing with, but I want you to focus on range of movement, control, and hitting that extra quarter in the bottom. Okay, into position. Let's go. And let's take care of business. Slow and smooth to the bottom. Up that quarter, back down, drive tool. If you have to stop before that full 60 second window, totally fine. Like I said, that is a long work set. That's why I'm putting those in there. There's plenty of room for progression here. You could be using a more challenging load. You could be going the full 60 seconds with a lighter load, whatever it might be. Okay. Rest. Now, this is where there's gonna be a lot of variation. I'm gonna be doing a depth push up. My hands are elevated on the dumbbells or yoga blocks, what have you, to find a deeper stretch to the push up and to the top. If that's too much to ask, you could do a standard push up on the floor. You could do a push up negative, so just lowering to the floor, then reset with the knee or do knees down the whole time. Meet yourself where you're at, we got three sets. So a bit of trial and error is a fine thing to do. Okay. I'm going slowly to the bottom, finding that deep stretch and driving to the top. seconds. Okay, humbling stuff. We're now gonna come into our third move, the Jefferson Curl. We did that in the warm up. If you wanna stick to body weight or even for this first set, fine. I'm gonna load it with one of my lighter dumbbells here. Like I said, exercise caution there, not to make you afraid, just because we're dealing with spinal segmentation. So we are flexing the back. That's not something you're used to doing. Take it steady. 
All right. Slow and smooth, reaching into your best stretch. And stand tall. Now bear with me, I know these are long, but they are there for good reason. Really potent opportunities to challenge yourself here. And everything else will feel pretty civilized from here on with 45 second work windows thereafter. Make any adjustments you need to here before we head into those front squats again. Ah, okay, let's settle in. One. Rest. Oh, it is a long set on a tough move. Okay, into those push ups. Hopefully, you have a bit of data now as to what's going to be an appropriate scale for you. Don't worry if you can't do the whole thing there, right? That's still a long window. Maybe you do some push ups, some negatives. It's a good thing to do. You'll probably see me do that soon. <laughs> these, are, these are hard. Oh. Not as hard as working out and talking the whole way through, I tell you that. <laughs> okay. Round five. Lovely. Ah, oh, that Jefferson curl is, by comparison, a very civilized 60 seconds to come up here. Ooh la la. <sighs> Alrighty. La jefe it is.
halfway there. Ten seconds. Okay, friends, just like that, we made it to our third and final round. Oh, I know it can be grueling. Like I said, it's gonna feel great from here on after. Oh, quick water. All righty, once more, unto the breach of gains. Okay, Rest. I didn't love those, I'm not gonna lie. But we did them, we made it happen. Last of the push-ups. Definitely not gonna make it through this set. We'll do our best, maybe work in some negatives, whatever else we need to do. Ooh. Taking care of business. Come on. basics. Ooh. Okay. We're well, after the hefes now. And then we get a minute off. Told you I was generous. Rest. 
Oh yes, delightful. Like I said, it's under a minute here to rest. Next block of work, we have got three exercises, some lower and upper, 45 seconds each and 30 seconds rest between movements, very nice. I'm probably gonna be using these same dumbbells to start the whole of it. Yes, indeed. Okay, so. Rest. Don't worry about him. 30 seconds, B stance, Romanian deadlift. Really nice, like a single leg Romanian deadlift, but we've got this B stance to help us balance. Front leg of your choice is working, soft knee, dumbbells close to the leg. Drive the bum back, find your best hamstring stretch. Little pause at the bottom. 10 seconds. Stand tool, driving the hips into lockout. Cool, let's take a look, and then we'll swap legs. Let's go. Keep the dumbbells close, armpits tight, find that stretch, drive tool. An absolute staple, very nice. And getting to work unilaterally, targeting one leg at a time. Okay. Doesn't this just feel more civilized? 45 seconds, lovely. It's gonna do the same on the other leg. Simple as that. Okay. Quick reminder for the 11th time. Main thing I'm looking for with individuals when I'm coaching them deadlifts. Soft knees, driving the bum back, trying to touch the wall behind you, and the armpits stay tight. That stops the back from doing that. All right, so let's trade legs. Round two. Soft knees, shifting the hips back. Find your hamstring stretch. Stand tall. God, I tell you, I feel so much better than I did 10 minutes ago. Whew. Just gotta get through that initial yickiness and then you're on your way. Cool. Rest. I'm going to take those dumbbells next to each other for the gorilla row. Now this is an alternating row position. Really nice move. My feet are a bit wider than shoulder width to the outside of the dumbbells. And we're going to do a similar thing. Hinge the hips back, but drive the knees out so that you've got room to drive that dumbbell back. I'm thinking about pulling my shoulder into my back pocket, following through with the elbow to get a good squeeze in the lats there. Okay, let's go. And then pull the shoulder away from the ear. If you don't want to feel it in the traps, near the neck. Pull it low towards the hip. Okay. Rest. Third and finally, this upright row. <sighs> Standing tall, driving the elbows out wide. Feel a nice squeeze in that meat of the shoulder. Control them down. You can play with your width. I like to go a little bit wider instead of here for how the shoulders feel. Take it steady. It's harder than it looks. No jerking around, control the movement throughout. Half 
way there. Ten seconds. Fantastic. And just like that, my compadre. Round one done, just round two to go. Adjust any weights right now that you might want, depending on how that first set felt. Let's make this one challenging. Into the B stance RDL. <sighs> Lovely, very nice. Okay, dumbbells up. First leg in place. So good, one of my favorites. Ah, <sighs> how are we doing? I feel like we're doing good. I'm very happy to have you. Mmm. <sighs> okay. It's Friday then. Jolly decent. Into the gorilla row. Now, provided you could get into the position relatively comfortably, probably feel that you're quite strong there. So make sure you're using weights that challenge you. <clears throat> Here we go, last one before we get another minute off and we get our last block of work underway. Ah. Oh, I hope you're having a nice day, whether it's 6 a.m. or 6 p.m., wherever you are. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy that little sentiment. Let's get back to it. Upright rows with beautiful form.
right there. Sweet to get into my but I can't pull back. Oh, I try to resist. I can't fight. Ten seconds. No one makes me feel like you know when no one. Oh, goodness gracious, fantastic. And just like that, my friends, our last rest window. The final piece, a little different in format, is a six minute EMOM, every minute on the minute. Three movements, each one gets two sets based on the format. In this instance, there's no structured work and rest. It's just a minute to include our work and our rest. So you can choose your reps. I like to stop these around 40 or 45 seconds so that I've got time. <laughs> So at least have a quick breather and get ready for the next movement and don't get overrun. So, first one is a Cossack. If you were with me last week for full body, we did a low hold lateral squat. The Cossack's just gonna be demanding a little more of your range of motion. If you haven't done these or you're particularly tight, choose something very light or body weight, but sometimes a little bit of a light weight can help pull you into a deeper position. We're alternating these reps. So, we've got a wide foot base with our toes turned out. I'm gobleting here. I'm gonna squat down, and I'm also gonna drop in and rotate at the bottom. Don't worry, you could just come to the first squat part if that feels a little bit too much for you today. It's an incredible move of strength and mobility, but definitely takes time to master, so don't worry. If your body feels very tight here, my OGs will know I love putting through, putting people through, sorry blocks of the Cossack, because it does wonders for your body. Cool, that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Bit of a breather. I'm gonna grab my lightest dumbbells now for the rear delt fly. Light, light, light. Bend over position, so hinging over. I'm gonna keep my knuckles facing forward, away from me. Soft elbows, drive out, squeeze and control. Small muscles in the back of the shoulder, doing the work for us here. And I'm gonna cut it there at 12. We're now gonna come down into a single arm dumbbell sit-up. We have to be on the ball here, because I'm gonna try and do six on one side and then six on the other. And depending on how that goes, we might do more in our final work window. So, one light dumbbell, knees bent, my other hand on the floor in support, and I'm gonna sit up and punch tall. Control the way down. Punch tall at the top. That shoulder is working hard for us as well as our abs here. Use the other hand as you need to for support. Cool, I'm gonna trade sides there. six per side, pretty perfect. Again, surprisingly challenging one. Guys, <laughs> back to it with the Cossack. Last time through, okay. at your own pace.
Ooh, feisty. Okay, bent over, rear delt fly. Okay. buddy if you're hearing this we've got one set to go 10 seconds oh my abs okay dumbbell sit up or no dumbbell if you need to of course rolling down under control Last one for me. Yup. Oh my God. 10 seconds. Oh yes. Okay, my friend. Rest. I'm just gonna give you one stretch, one stretch earlier, really nice. Ooh, a little glute piriformis number. I'm gonna take this leg. Parallel shin, cross the other leg over. So my foot is by that knee, hug the knee. And then I'm just gonna turn into it, squeezing the leg tight to the body, dropping into it as much as I need to find that beautiful stretch. We'll do about a minute per side. Hmm. A sense of accomplishment washes over thee. Well done. This stuff isn't easy, I demand a lot of you. A lot of attention to detail, high quality work, and simply hard work. Oh, a reminder please, if you're new around here after our stretch, let me know how you found the workout, who you are, where you're from. You don't have to tell me your name. But I love hearing about all you good hard working people all around the world joining me here. Pretty cool. I'm gonna change sides there. All right, cross that leg under, step that leg over, hug it tight. And that's all I got to say about that. Ah, oh, that was a hoop. Feeling better? I hope you are too. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Share it with people you care about. Let's get stronger together. Ciao.